Have you ever wondered about karma, its significance, and if it's even real? Well, these are questions I've asked myself, and I'll share with you my understanding of what karma means and how to best utilize it in your life. Growing up, I lived in a household that was really enmeshed in Christianity. It was simply a way of life, and I had no idea that there were really other choices. And it wasn't until I got a little older and actually started practicing yoga when I realized that there are some limitations to that belief system, and I started to separate myself from the tradition. This is when I uncovered this concept of karma. I'd heard it, of course, growing up, you'll get what you put out, you reap what you sow, things like this. However, it always felt so powerless, and it was something that I didn't really care to even engage with. But the truth is, as I began to understand more about the yogic and Vedic traditions, including astrology, I found that karma has more to it than meets the eye. Karma isn't some mysterious, ethereal thing that you won't really ever understand. It can actually be somewhat practical. Karma is really your emotional reaction to triggers in your life. Essentially, whether you believe that we have multiple lifetimes or you simply have this realm that you're living in, karma shows up as emotional reactions. Anytime you get triggered and you choose to respond in that same emotional way that you normally do, such as anger, frustration, fear, anxiety, right? Whatever the word is for you, it could even be joy and, and happiness, those emotional responses are karma. The karma is simply an emotional reaction. So the truth is, if you really want to engage with this idea of karma and gain some power from it, because that's the thing, a lot of times people use karma as a way to become powerless or disempowered. Oh, it's not my fault, it's karma, or it's my karma, or I have good karma and they have bad karma, or whatever the word is, right? Whatever the story is that you tell yourself, karma is not something that you're powerless to. Karma is something that you are responsible for. And the way to own up to this responsibility is to engage and check in with your emotional reactions. So a way to think about karma from an empowered way is that, okay, I'm going to decide that when I get into my life and I have those stressful experiences show up, I'm going to choose to respond in a measured, calm, and dignified way. The thing is, in order for you to actually break karma, break a karmic cycle, you need to engage with your emotions. If you continually respond in the same way over and over and over again, that's karma. So what if you saw that coworker or that bad driver or your family member that triggers you, and instead of responding in the same way, you took some time and you thought about, okay, well, how do I want to respond? And how do I want to engage? And how will I breathe? And how will I stand? And how will I speak in those moments? And instead of responding in those same emotional reactions that you've done for this lifetime and maybe lifetimes before, you chose to do something differently. You chose to do something that was less charged because the thing is, we have a, an attractive system mechanism within us, and that's our emotions. And the more that we emote a certain experience, the more we're, go the more we're going to draw that into our lives. So in essence, to break your karmic cycles, you've got to break those emotional patterns and emotional habits. If you'd like to learn more about how to break these emotional karmic cycles and learn more about yourself, sign up for my newsletter. I do offer weekly astrology updates as well as personal readings and check out my Moon Phases course.